A CNM student is sharing her story after fleeing the war in Ukraine and then enrolling in classes at CNM. News 13's Annalisa Pardo has her impressive story. 20 year old Anna Maria Gross is a first year student at CNM. I'm doing business. Taking regular classes with plans to eventually get into marketing. Her life looks much different today than it did just a few months ago. Six months now, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's very hard on everyone. And I didn't realize that it was that big until you would see the news and it. Scary news, scary things. Born and raised in Ukraine, she was living with her family in Odessa when tensions with Russia began to escalate. All of us thought, well, they're our brothers, they're so close to us, why would they do something that horrible, even though they have a history and we have a history with them? On February 24th, her life changed, woken up in the middle of the night by unfamiliar noises. I thought maybe it's fireworks or something, or maybe I, my brain is playing with me, like, I had never heard something like this before. That's when I got up and I realized my parents are not sleeping, <laughs> just like me. And I'm quite close with my parents. Um, so I went and kind of laid down with them in, in their bed. It was an attack by Russia. Two days later, she and her sister went to Romania. We would stay there for two weeks. That's what my dad promised me. And each time we moved it for uh, two more and two more and two more weeks. Her mother stayed behind with her father, who, as a man under 60, had to stay in case he was needed to fight. Those few weeks in Romania turned into three months. She and her sister then went to a youth center in Slovakia. It was hard. It was, it was hard because you expect to be home sooner, but it's not happening. It was in Slovakia, Gross realized she wouldn't be back home for a while and had to make other plans. She enrolled in CNM, got her visa, and through the help of an Albuquerque based Christian nonprofit that works with her ministry in Ukraine, she and her sister moved in with her host parents in Albuquerque. It's dry, it's a different nature, uh, which, which is pretty. I'm liking it. I'm actually liking it more because of people. Gross says she talks to her parents often. At first it was very hard, and now it's becoming a normal thing, which is the worst. It's just so bad. You shouldn't be getting used to things like this. It's a war. You shouldn't be getting used to hiding or like hearing the sirens and um, and then going back to your normal life. And while they live in a town that doesn't see much fighting, she wants people to remember the war isn't over. The, the war is still happening and helping and supporting is a great thing. Um, if you can help one person, it's a good achievement. Most would call fleeing a war and continuing schooling impressive, but Gross doesn't see it that way. Taking things one day at a time, hoping the war ends soon. What has it taught you or what's the biggest takeaway that you've had so far in these past six months? That the world is small. When people are um, nice and supportive and they, they become your family even though they're not your blood. Annalisa Pardo, KRQE, News 13. After two years at CNM Gross plans to transfer to UNM. She hopes to visit her parents soon.